right. <laughs> this is my buddy, Michael Morris, and he owns <laughs> Morris Knives, but he's got a really special place here. You know, I really enjoy J.R.R. Tolkien, and some of my favorite movies are The Lord of the Rings, and when I found out he had this place and got a tour of it, well, I, I can't even explain it, but I'll it's, let It's you. indescribable in some ways. It is indescribable, yep. and I have permission to stay here tonight. Oh yeah. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go take a look at this. All right, Michael, we're gonna head down there and check it out. Let's show me you what you got, it. man. You Let's go this way. I think I hear the music playing already, you know? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I bought my home right there uh, almost 15 years ago. And when I bought that home, there was a house up here on the flat and the lady that lived there, she passed away. The next of kin was in Flint. So nobody wanted to come over and take care of the house. And it was kind of an old house anyway. So they ended up tearing it down. Well, the, the land was vacant for almost two years. And I mm -hmm. used to have this beautiful black lab. Her name was Dakota. And I was down here with her. The land was for sale. And I was down here with my black lab. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I've been a big fan of the books and movies for a long time anyway. Yeah. Man, this place is beautiful. It's like a scene right out of the Shire. And somebody could, wait a minute, this land is for sale. <laughs> <laughs> so I called on it and they wanted 10,000 for the property. And since it had been vacant for two years, I offered them seven, and we settled on 8,500, and three days later, I had a backhoe in here digging this out. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got going on here. Now, mind you, when I bought this property, there was nothing here but grass. Trees and grass, that's all there was. And my last name is Morris, so the name of the property is... Oh, yeah. Morrisshire. Check it out. <laughs> Perfect. And over here we've got Hobbiton and Yale, but this is epic. He's got his own Hobbit house. Yes, sir. There's actually a lady that lives right here in town that has been to Hobbiton in New Zealand, and she's seen this one, and she said this one rivals any of the ones on the actual movie set down in New Zealand. Wow. That made me feel pretty good. Check and this the, out. The sign is just like the sign on Bilbo's front gate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, ready for this? Yes. Who's the, who's the coolest grandpa in town? <laughs> you aren't kidding. All right. We better find out and see who's here. You wow. Imagine. Check this out. And I got to be careful or I'll be just like Gandalf and bump my head. <laughs> yep. Look at that. Got an oil lamp in here. Little stove. That is so cool, cat litter box. <laughs> well, Just in case. In there, but that uh, that cat litter helps absorb some of the moisture. Oh yeah. You know, because it is underground and it's cold in there. So in the summertime, when it's humid outside, it sweats in there. Yeah. And the 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 wood burning stove is an old coach stove or a uh, uh, a caboose stove. You know, from the old a long time ago. Oh nice. Okay. Well, I found that on eBay, or maybe it was. I don't know where I got it. But anyway, um, it's not vented, so you can't burn wood in there. So you can see a little bit of a uh, paint can right beside it. Yep. That's a one-quart paint can. You put a toilet paper roll in there and saturate it with alcohol. Oh, yeah. And that way it burns a big flickering flame, but it's non-toxic. There you go. Yep. And this window, this window was a sun catcher. You know, it had a chain on it. You could hang it in your window. And oh, yeah. when the sun comes up, you know, your kitchen Neat. window, it shines sparklies all over the place. Oh, yeah. And I cut the chain off and I put it in the door and it looks like it was made on purpose just for that. That is door. awesome. Check yep. out this sod roof even. <laughs> I mean, it's just yep. everything is there. It's just so cool. Yes, sir. When I saw this the first time, I was so impressed. So we got a little bit of a wood fire going here. Cool. <laughs> Well, I, I, um, deal. I tell people often, you know, some guys have a regular job and they make knives for a hobby. But since yep. making knives is my regular job, I have to have a different hobby, so I built more. <laughs> yep. That's pretty cool. Now, this area right here, if you can see it in the video, um, it's we started to flatten this out a bit. Mm -hmm. Our next big project, see, this was our first fire pit. And mm -hmm. I've got seven grandkids in town, so I've often been afraid of them falling into it. Or even if you, you know, when the fire is going, if you rub up against it, that's pretty hot. So yep. our next big project, we're going to build one of those L-shaped outdoor brick kitchen areas. We're oh, gonna nice. Have a bread oven right here and a deep pit barbecue right there. With Very cool. With over the top of it and stuff. It's going to be pretty nice. Yeah, for sure. Yes, sir. Now, if we go around this way. <laughs> You 
<laughs> and he's got a second one. <laughs> yep, I did have a fire going in, in awesome. there earlier today. Uh, and they're still smoldering a bit. I'm sure it won't take long for Rick to get them down. <laughs> right, right. But that is actually a real wood burning fire. And I think that's where we're going to stay tonight in there. You if betcha. That's okay. yeah. You betcha. And the, the little pot right there on the tripod, that's just for looks, but it still looks pretty cool when you see oh, it. Yeah. Now, this here is uh, Mill Creek. Is that an official Hobbiton uh, guest over there? It, no, no, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a Walmart special. But uh, you won't tell Bilbo that. Right. Yeah, this is Mill Creek here in... Yep. This is Mill Creek. Yeah. Actually, Mill Creek is actually a state-designated trout stream. And I didn't know that, but we've caught some really nice fish out of there, too. Wonderful. Yeah, there's guys that are up the way in the park. They have a uh, little bit of a dam up there in the the uh, steelhead like to go up there oh yeah well you know what they got to come right by here before uh, they get up yes there. they do so, yes yes sir. they do now the first place that you saw with mm -hmm. the green door we call that one bilbo's place because bilbo had a green door on his front yes this is the woodcutter's place you can see all oh the yes stuff that we usually have a lot more than that but we've been burning it and stuff but you got to come and check this out now i'm sure that the video will show after you get inside but if you go inside there and look, that's actually a real wood burning fireplace. All right, we're going to go in here. Again, I got to duck my head so I don't kill myself. Awesome. There's a real wood burning fireplace. Look at that window again he's got in here. Got an oil lamp, candles, little table here. Oh, and a creeper in the window. <laughs> yeah, so this is where I'm going to stay tonight. Set the cot up over here. Look at this, pretty amazing. All right, let's keep going here and check out what okay. else. Now, you've seen Bilbo's place, you've seen the woodcutter's place. This next one that we're going to is what we call the wheelhouse. Oh, that's awesome. Check this out. Last time he was telling me he had some plans here to get this wheel moving. Yep, as a matter of fact, we have a pump where we can put water from the creek up to those tanks and I'm, I, my next project, well, one of my next projects, I've got to build a privacy fence around that, and then we're going to have a flume that comes from that spigot down here to the wheel, and it's going to turn the wheel, and the water will go right back in the creek. So we're not going nice. to be stealing water from the system. but uh, And that's a real water wheel. It really turns. It doesn't generate electricity okay. or grind corn. It's just for a yep. but it is a really cool addition. Did you buy or uh, build a water wheel I, then? I made that 100% myself. As a matter of fact, hang on. Go away. Sure. Yep. And go check this out. That is amazing. Look at that. That will be wonderful. Cool. <laughs> all right. How cool is that? Very cool. I now, love the tin roof on here. I drove all the way up to Frankenmuth to get this tin. Somebody was dis disassembling a barn. Oh, yeah. There. And um, so I drove up there to get there. That's but awesome. It's just just picture perfect now this water wheel mm -hmm. i'm the most proud of because i built this 100 percent myself the other two you can see the cement and the brickwork i yeah. had to hire that done because i'm not a mason but i i can work with wood so this one i made 100 yeah. percent myself look at that wheel still just going and going and going Watch your head. all right hey, duck down here to get in and again another beautiful beautiful setup look at all these decorations he's got set up in here that is so neat and another little table you can sit out here there's a little screen even you can open the window that is so yep. amazing yep. so he's and standing full up and i'm yeah that's i'm over here standing up a little too what you so. like about this one you can actually stand up comfortably yeah. unless you're taller than six foot tall yeah yep um, well i wouldn't want to walk too far but <laughs> i am standing yep. up so yeah and this little, this is actually a coal burning stove. They call it the Little Joe. I got this for 30 bucks at a yard sale. Neat. And it, it's hobbit size. It, it, oh, when yeah. I, when I got that, when I got to the yard sale, I saw this stove sitting there and, and the price tag said 80 bucks. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, man, I'm not going to buy, I like it, but 80 bucks is too much. Wait a minute. That's not an eight. That's a three. <laughs> so I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even try to sure. negotiate with them. I just took it. That's cool. And again, we burned the, um, the alcohol can in there. Oh, yeah. Non-toxic. Now, of course, I wouldn't burn burn it too much and mm -hmm. not have any fresh air, of course, but it's still certainly 
uh, significantly less toxic mm -hmm. than coal or wood. Right, right. Yeah, yep. and the windows open up, of course. Yeah, that's so cool. Yep. And so does that one. There. Mm -hmm. so, oh, I've had grandkids come out here and do their birthday parties and uh, friends come out here and spend the night, of course. Oh, neat. Oh, yeah. Okay, if we walk Follow around. me. All right, cool. Come on, the corner right there. Yep. Look at this. So this is where you were able to sneak around and turn the wheel. Yeah. Look at this. A nice little back porch here. And if you can just imagine for a moment how nice it is to come out here in the morning and enjoy a hot cup of coffee and read a little bit, you know, and watch the sun come up over the east there, you know, or even out at the end oh, of the yeah. day. Oh, yeah. You know, and come out here and have a yep. have a glass of iced tea and, and watch the. If you stood out here long enough, I'm sure you would see fish jump out there. Oh yeah. Because again, even though it's only it's less than waist deep right here. Mm hmm. There's still some pretty nice fish out there. Yep. I still got to get a kayak and come down through here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now you have to be careful if you if you disembark right here because this is all poison ivy. <laughs> yeah, that would not yeah, that would not be good. Let it be right. Well, That's I didn't right. know what poison ivy was until I started digging out the area. Yeah. I was just down there ripping all these weeds out and stuff. Man, I had it all over my arms. I was miserable for. Oh my weeks. goodness! Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah, we even got some solar lights here. Yep. They, That's cool. They light up. Yep. They light up. And we do have a lot of. Uh, 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 solar lights around the area and after the sun goes down it looks like little fireflies and stuff out oh there. neat that's really kind of cool too mm -hmm. here's another cool plan that we have for the future see i'm going to retire in a couple of years so i'll be able to spend more time out here but that little footbridge that we just came across imagine another one going across here maybe four feet wide really rustic looking oh, cool and then over there in the corner someplace we're going to have a eight foot by eight foot gazebo nice with benches on each side and maybe a fireplace in the back so you nice. can go out there and build a fire like this and read a book and stuff just mm -hmm. every little thing that we can do to add to the ambiance of this is just amazing for sure for sure <clears throat> we've got more railroad ties to finish the steps sitting right up here i just need to set aside the time and and uh uh enlist a couple of friends that want yeah. to be part of this to help us you know dig and do some of the fun stuff very cool so we're back yeah. up here to the flat where i parked if you're standing right here this is about the middle of the property okay now, rick can you see the the fence line oh right yes there? yep that's the south border of uh -huh. the property if you look this way to the east it's 200 yards to Brad's house. Oh, there. yeah. Cool. And remember where the Morrisshire sign is. That's the north end of the property, uh -huh. but beyond that is a swamp. Nobody's <laughs> ever going to build there. I said all that to say this. I actually only own an acre here. Yeah. But because it's in the middle of everything else, it feels like it's in a much bigger area. Oh, There's yeah. The trees, you know, the, the greenery, the everything. It's just amazing. And also, right here, do you remember the name of the pub in... Uh, oh you? man, I, I should know that. I'm forgetting it though. The Green Dragon. The Green Dragon, yes. yes. The Green Dragon was the name of the pub, the gathering place. What we're going to do right here is we're going to build the Sleeping Dragon. Sweet. Now imagine this. A, a 30 foot, probably 30 foot hexagon. And we're going to build it like a hexagon so we can build off to it. Oh yeah. You know, or, or maybe octagon, but you know, build on to it later. Right in the middle, we're going to have a four-foot fireplace that goes right up through the middle. We're going to have tables and chairs around the outside with a wet bar along the back. Nice. We'll be able to rent this out for bed and breakfast. Actually, it will be bed and second breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yep. Bed and breakfast, um, birthday parties, you know, uh, weddings maybe, or, you know, a bit of uh, Airbnb, whatever. Great. So, yep, you betcha. Good deal. Well, now, I'll probably spend more on this project than I have on everything else combined up to this point, but we're going to do it right. Sure. Now, walk this way. Yep. Some well, people think because I'm a hunter, yeah. this is a deer stand. Yeah, hey, it looks like it up. would be. Let's yeah, see you what's up, you'll see a quarter inch. What is that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my end. Look at that. It's a zip where, line. Where on earth does that go? It goes 220 feet down line. And that's the tree that it embarks on right down there. Wow, you can just barely see it <laughs> yeah, right buddy. there. What I tell you, who's the coolest grandpa in town? Yeah, you aren't kidding. <laughs> wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's awesome, and then, man. of course, where you saw the Morrisshire sign, uh -huh. we're going to have another sign over here 
that uh, points up to the sleeping dragon this way and the south farthing that way, which is where we're going to build that little gazebo across yeah. the, the little ravine. Nice. Oh, yeah. Very cool. So now we're walking down between the two. There's a chimney there, and there's a chimney over here I saw someplace. And we're back down here. Yeah, there's, there's absolutely no limit to our imagination, except our imagination. Yeah here as to what we're going to do in the future and stuff as a matter sure. of fact, if you um right over there if you can see that you can't really see it from this angle because with the sunlight and stuff, mm -hmm. but we've got a, a big bush right there what we're going to do is we're going to build a privacy fence a hedge along the road line mm -hmm. and then where that bush is that bush is coming out now i said that to say this you see where there's railroad ties on the side of bilbo's place? oh yeah imagine a structure now this one will have to be uh just static means we won't be able to get into it but imagine three walls of railroad ties right with oh a yeah bush over the top of it so we can plant grass on the top of it and on those three walls on the left side there's going to be a fake hobbit door you won't be able to get in there because it'll just be for looks yeah but then on the the right side we're going to have saloon doors Oh, nice. And then we're going to have one of those little miniature ore cars, you know, <laughs> where, they, like, like, where they use for mining. Uh -huh. And we're going to have it covered with gravel, and we're going to have the whole walkway covered with gravel, so it'll look like the gravel came from the Hobbit mine. Very cool. <laughs> or the dwarf mine. Right, right, like right. But anyway. Excellent. Yep. That's Morris Shire. And if anybody's in town, if you're in the area, we would love to have you pop by and visit. My phone number is 810-887-7817. So if you're going to be in the area, 810-887-7817, give me a shout, and I would love to give you a tour. Great. And we'll go from there. Awesome. You bet.